Hey favorite people, I'm MK the Worst and today is a big day. It's the second anniversary of my first YouTube video. I can't believe it's been two years. It's really, really flown by and so now we're having this little sit down chat. I've got some tea in my favorite Fox mug and um, I also am drinking tea just because it's freezing here for unknown reasons. Sorry, that was probably really loud. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Mm. I know you guys love me for my manners. Before we get started on the Q&A special vlog here, I need to give a couple of shout outs to people who supported me on Patreon this summer. Big thank you to Ozymandias LP, Michael Chalice, Swordfish Plays, Claire LMS, Fage, and M.I. Turner. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys, so thank you, it means, it means the world to me. Thank you. It's time to answer some questions. Uh, I got questions from around 100 people and most of those people asked multiple questions within their comments on the YouTube video that I put up earlier this week asking for questions. So I'm not gonna be able to get every single one of them, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best because you guys are important. Like I literally would not be here without, without you right there. I'm trying to like reach around my mic. I should use my left hand. There we go, you. Alex P asks, will you ever come to Australia for a meet and greet? Um, maybe someday, hopefully? Ella Beatmaker says, hey, MK, I have the best question. How are you? Um, Ozymandias asks, what song could you just lay on the floor, close your eyes and listen to endlessly? That's such a difficult question because it really changes for me. This month, that song is Wings by Birdie. That, mm, so, 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 so good. Kill Anyone HD asks if you can have a cookie. Sure, but I don't have any cookies. So you might have to get your own cookie, sorry. Jurg says, what is one of your favorite YouTube related memories? Uh, probably one of my favorite YouTube related memories now at this point is uh, starting the Ladies UHC with Godiva Gaming. That, I, that's a very, very special part of my channel. It's a very special part of kind of my friendships on YouTube. And then she asks also, what is one of my favorite Twitch memories? Probably the day I got partnered. That was a really special one. We had a really special celebratory stream and that was a lot of fun. Zeth asks, how did you become tar part, tart, part of the Timeshot server? I was invited. Before the server even started, I just got a message from Winter, who's one of the owners, and she said, hey, we're doing this thing, do you want in? And I was like, that sounds pretty cool. Yes, I want in. Jonathan Wolf says, who would you say is the most inspirational person in your life? Oh, that's difficult because there are so many different people who inspire me in different areas of my life. I mean, my YouTube inspiration is probably Aurelian, but like in my personal life, gosh. I mean, so many people, so many, so many people. That's a very, very difficult question. I'd have to think about that probably longer. 2011 says, how much do you love me? This much. AJ says, do you still love me as much as I love you? Totally. Flamers says, asks, which of your cats is your favorite and why is it Hobbs? Oh, oh man, I could never pick a favorite. I could never pick a favorite. Here, let's see if I can show you guys what they're doing right now. They're napping together, snuggling. Can I get you any closer? Can I get you a slightly better view at all? Not super, but they're like curled up next to each other. I mean, they're best friends. It's like, it's like picking your favorite child. I could probably never do that. Jacob says, what was the hardest thing when first starting YouTube and Twitch? Staying consistent, because from the very beginning of my channel, I've uploaded at least three to seven to sometimes 10 videos a week, things like that. So, I mean, the consistency is a little hard, but if you're having fun, consistency is not hard. If you really like what you're doing, it's, it's not hard. Crimson Cat Eye says, what made you to, made you decide to post your first video on my birthday? Well, it's kind of awkward. I've actually been stalking you for about five years now, and my entire YouTube channel has been this big push to just get you to notice me. It looks like it finally worked. Boom, mission accomplished. I'm never gonna upload another video ever again. False. <clears throat> Squirt Dude says, how did you get started on YouTube? How did you find out about the Let's Play slash gaming communities? Uh, that was all sigils. He started playing Minecraft in maybe, well, no, he started playing Minecraft 
pretty much around ALF. In February of 2012, he kind of stumbled across some tutorial videos, started watching, and then he started making videos in May of 2012, I think. And he spent a lot of time trying to convince me to start a channel too. And I was like, I haven't played video games in 10 years. I, I would probably be terrible at commentating. And I was, if you've ever seen my first YouTube video, I'm gonna put an annotation here and probably a link in the description to my first video and then also to my retrospective video so that, from last year so that you guys can see a little bit of how terrible I was when I first started. Uh, who inspired me to start making videos? Well, Sigils kind of forced me to start making videos, but after about three months of doing, you know, just kind of general survival Minecraft, I kind of ran out of things to do. I was like, well, I've got like five cows, I've got a tiny farm, I've built a little house, kind of, and I think I'm done. I've done everything there is to do in Minecraft. And then one day I stumbled across a video of Coralis's where he was building, I don't remember what he was building, probably a modern house. And it blew my mind. I had no idea that people built beautiful things in Minecraft. Yeah, I was a YouTuber for three months before I realized people built beautiful things in Minecraft. And also, what challenges are you now facing in regards to your YouTube channel? Uh, figuring out what trajectory to take it in, figuring out what games to put on it, you know, just general growth things like, you know, what are decisions that I should make to continue to grow my channel, you know, general stuff. And if I could have a dream office to record videos in, what would it be? What would be in it? Oh, dude, dude, dude. I actually really like this setup here, except I wish I had a much larger desk. I've got a whole lot of stuff crammed onto a super duper teeny tiny desk. I'd really like maybe um, a green screen setup. I'd like a, maybe like a s kind of studio type area where I could record vlogs on my DSLR. I need, a, I need a tripod for my DSLR still. Um, things like that, you know? Just more more stuff, more techie stuff. Probably a console. I don't have a console. I'd probably need an Xbox or something. Yeah. Sophia Horan says, favorite artist. Artist as in musician, artist as in painter, artist as in sculptor. Uh... Ooh, the Luna one says, what's my favorite thing about my fan base? My favorite thing is how friendly they all are and the fact that a lot of my viewers have become friends with each other. And I've had a number of people, I'm looking at you, Ozzy Graffrain Taz, who are like, I met this friend through MK. And that is one of my favorite things is seeing how people stumble across my channel, meet other people that they get along with really well and then forge lasting friendships. And so I like to take a little bit of credit for that, you know, because just ah, all that good stuff. D Miner says, was there a common way of meeting all your amazing friends? Um, no, no, it all happened differently. Some people I met through like stumbling across their YouTube channels, other people I met through talking to them on Twitter, other people I met through playing a game with them without even recording, some people I met through mutual friends. Yeah, everybody that I've met here has a different story with how we got connected. Fezzi says, why do you think recording video gaming, recorded video gaming has really bursted in popularity on YouTube within the past few years? Oh, I think that's an easy one. I think it's because the technology is finally becoming a little bit more mainstream. I think we could really see a concrete example of that on Twitch last year, where all of a sudden Minecraft integrated Twitch or streaming automatically and the Xbox integrated it. And so all of a sudden people who had never streamed before because they didn't have a, you know, a, a capture card and uh, or a or a PC and the right software and all the knowledge to set up all the software correctly people who didn't have that those capabilities or that technology or those programs suddenly didn't need them and so that's definitely something really concrete that I think we can see with Twitch what do I like most about making content I definitely like the recording process itself I don't like editing very much the active playing commentating that's the best part and where do I see myself in five years? 
living in California, still making videos, maybe working for some awesome startup. We'll see. And maybe, maybe I'd even have a kid in five years. That would be crazy. Anno Sturvey asks, uh, how, oh, how old was I when I started YouTube? Um, how old were you when you started YouTube? 23. And Leaked says, was getting started on YouTube and Twitch slow for you? Very slow. Very, 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 very slow. Um, I mean, I think from, you know what, I even started two years ago before the market was as saturated as it is right now. I mean, for the first three months, literally nobody watched anything that I did. I was just making videos for fun. DuckDuckGoose says, if MK were craftable in Minecraft, what ingredients would be required? Crafting table or multi-block? Biome specific. Okay. You would need... Actually, no, I think I think to craft an MK it would be more like making a potion. I think you would probably need like some glowstone and some lapis, maybe some uh, blue, light blue stained glass. What was my most embarrassing moment? Oh gosh, I've really put my foot in my mouth a couple times where I just said things that I meant to reflect critically on me but the words that I said could also be applied to somebody else who was in the room. And it, and in the situation, it seemed like I could be criticizing them. And that's really painful to me because I, I don't like criticizing people. I don't like talking crap about people. And so when I accidentally do it, it really, really sucks. Ashley Clark says, what are your cat's names? I have two cats, as you already saw earlier in the video. Hobbs is the orange one and Houdini is the tuxedo one, the marmalade and the tuxedo. And how do you deal with haters? Uh, I just ignore them. You know, uh, the thing about haters and trolls is that they really just want a reaction. I see a lot of YouTubers and things who get hateful comments on Twitter and they actually respond to the person. And I'm just like, why would you even bother responding? You know, if if somebody says something totally trolltastic, I just let it roll off your back you got to pretend to be like a like a duck in the water ducks feathers oh my gosh trivia time with mk are coated with like a special oily secretion and so the water can't really penetrate it so when a duck resurfaces after diving to see if it can like get some you know weeds or something on the bottom of the pond the water never soaked into its feathers it just rolls in little droplets off the duck's back you got to be like a duck because ducks are boss and waterproof. Sometimes I don't know what happens inside my brain. Sir Whiskey says, how much courage did it take to do YouTube full time? A lot of courage and actually I might be going back to having a day job. I might, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm kind of looking at some options with some different companies and we'll see what happens. Vicky M says, what's your favorite thing about meeting new Minecraft YouTubers? I love making new friends, man. You know, making new friends is the bomb. And when you like get in a Skype call with somebody and instantly you have that kind of rapport, that, that banter back and forth, that sass. I love that. I love when you meet somebody that you can just have that banter with for sure. Banana Splitsman says, what's your favorite animal? Um, well, I just saw this YouTube video of this baby elephant blowing bubbles through its trunk like it had a little trough of water that it was kind of splashing around in and it was like blowing bubbles like a little kid blows bubbles through a straw baby elephants are my new favorite animal who is my favorite band and what is my favorite song from that band oh my gosh right now my favorite song is arrows by fences featuring macklemore and ryan lewis L. Hubert says, if you could change something in your entire life, what would it be and why? <sighs> I would have traveled more. I would have studied abroad in college. That's what I would have done. I would have studied abroad when I was in college. Uh, M. Ferdow says, what does MK mean? It's my real name, MK. My initials is what I go by. Melina Liprose says, is it, there's a question. Is Doctor Who your favorite show and who's your favorite doctor? That's yes. And David Tennant was my favorite doctor. If I had a chance to do anything at all for the entire day, what would it be? Um, 
I'm a fairly extroverted person and so one thing that I really love doing is like going and sitting at a cafe and people watching. Like just sitting there, you know, with my, well normal, I used to drink cappuccinos but now I can't have dairy so now I just drink like an Americano or coffee black or something like that. And, uh, but yeah, I just love sitting out in the world and just watching people do their stuff. People are so fascinating. Uh, Holly asks, we saw the New York vlog with Ari and Maddie. Had you met before? Or did you meet through YouTube? Also, do you just hang out with people you met from YouTube one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, okay. Great questions. I had never met Ari or Maddie in real life before the New York trip. Um, we become friends on on YouTube and Skype and Twitter and all that stuff, but that was our first time meeting in person. And do I hang out with people I meet from YouTube one-on-one? -on -one? Yes, actually. Next week, Graphoniac is coming to visit me. Like, she's gonna be here in this apartment. It's gonna be crazy. Oh my gosh, I've been going for 20 minutes already. Okay, we need to do questions faster. Eleanor McCarg says, how do you cope with mean comments? Because it's a thing YouTubers don't like. Etc. Etc. Um, I just typically ignore them. If somebody actually has a legitimate suggestion or like constructive criticism, I'll talk to them about that. I'll maybe ask questions about where they're coming from. But if it's just a mean or trollish comment, just ignore it. Remember my story about the duck? I shouldn't have to tell the duck story again. DJ Culture says, "What item, character, or object from Doctor Who would you like to see in vanilla Minecraft? Definitely the TARDIS. Like, how cool would it be if you could just like." teleport to your friends' houses, or like teleport back in time to see what one of your builds used to look like. That would be awesome. Hunter Garcia has 12 million questions for me. Um, favorite game other than Minecraft is Skyrim. Who's older, Hobbs or Houdini? Hobbs is actually three months older. Where do I live? Seattle area. Uh scrolling, scrolling, like reading. I should do a draw my life. I haven't done one yet. I might. Do I wear contacts? No, I don't wear contacts. Just recently, I went to see the eye doctor and she was like, you know, you really shouldn't drive without glasses because you can't really see far enough away. So I'm super nearsighted. So I don't need, I don't need glasses for doing stuff like this, gaming, things like that. But if I'm driving, if I'm at the movies, I need glasses. There's so many questions in here. A lot of questions, a lot of questions. Um, um, what am I doing for Christmas? I have no idea. Um, uh, okay, we're going to move on to the next questions because there are so many questions in there. I can't even read them all. A. Kirby says, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me no more. Okay, Juan Espinosa. I'm only gonna answer the first half of this question. What is the most successful thing you've achieved so far? The thing I'm most proud of in my life is honestly my YouTube and Twitch channels. I, I don't know, I'm super, super proud of them. Bear Palmer says, who or what made you want to do YouTube and how has it changed your life? Honestly, it's introduced me to some of the most incredible people, some of the best friends I've ever met. And it's introduced me to this entire kind of industry that I want to work in for the rest of my life, you know? Yeah, totally changed the trajectory of my life, to be honest. Wow, that's so weird to think about, but YouTube changed my life. Yeah. Oh, Apex says, what was your first car? Oh my gosh, my first car was a 1984 Ford Tempo that used to belong to my great-grandmother. I kid you not, my great-grandmother drove this car. And uh, it was a total rust bucket. It was uh, it was actually probably character building to have to drive it because it was so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Magnus Anderson says, what are you doing creative? Build, redstone, or you like me, make adventure maps. You know what's interesting? I actually hardly ever play in creative at all. Creative's just not my, it's not my jam. You know, I, I like building beautiful things. I like to build stuff, but I'm never ever in creative. It's always like in one of my survival worlds or on a survival server. And Mel Yolo says, Hobbs or Houdini? Yes, I'm evil and making you choose. Nope, they are my yin and my yang. They can't ever be separated. 
Now Woot says, what does it feel like to know that people watch your videos? It's actually really crazy to me. I can't believe that people watch my videos. It's like, I'm a total dork. I'm not very good at most video games. And I have a really loud cat that interrupts 99% of my videos. Like, why do you guys watch my videos? I don't know. I don't even know, but it's awesome. I love you guys. You're so freaking awesome. Thank you for being on on this YouTube journey with me so far, YouTube and Twitch, and I can't wait to see where we are two years from now. You guys are beautiful and I love you. <laughs> Over and out. Thank you.